Hello guys, welcome back to Halloween Horrors here on Beyond the Realms. And today I'm not going to talk about any Blu-rays and I'm not going to talk about any movies. Today I want to tell you about the best haunted house experience I've ever had. Now I've had many great ones over the years. I've, I've been fortunate enough to attend pr some pretty awesome haunted houses. But if I think back to one haunted house that is, it, it's, it's a notch above, probably five, ten notches above every other one I've ever been to. It is hands down the Haunted Hollow in Wilmington, Ohio. Um, now the experience I'm going to tell you, this happened, this was about at least 14 years ago, possibly 15 years ago. Um, I think it was, I think it was 14 years ago though. I think it was around 98, right around there. Um, and I know it's, it's changed a lot since then. So, you know, this is all in the past and you'll see, but I do want to say up front, this whole entire story is absolutely 100% true. Anybody that experienced this will tell you the same thing. It's not like, you know, the myth of the haunted hospital where if you, you know, it's the scariest thing around. If you get through it in an hour, you get your money back. That was always a big rumor in my time, you know, growing up. This is all 100% absolutely true. And okay, so to get to it, the haunted hollow was way, way out in the boonies. Like me, ex-girlfriend and a couple other friends went to this place. Um, and it was like an, at least an hour away from where we live and it's way out in the boonies but we ended up finding it and it was on some people's property out behind their house they had I mean just acres and acres of property and we knew going into it that there was uh, the guys running this thing were truck drivers and um, you know the whole the whole spiel was what got us to go to this place is you ride on school buses and um, so we get there and I mean there's a long ass line I mean it is just it stretches on and on and on but we ended up waiting two and a half hours to get into this thing and when you get into it you get into a school bus okay and the whole entire top of it like right down to where the bottom of the windows would be the whole top is cut off so it's just an open top bus and you know it, you're going through, I mean, you, you take off, and I mean, they immediately start speeding in the bus. I mean, they're flying, they got big, wide open paths back just all through the woods. And um, you're going through, you know, and there's typical stuff jumping out here and there. And then you get to one part, and there's, and, and you look up, and there's a literal airplane mounted up in the trees. Now, granted, it's a small, you know, one person plane, two person plane, whatever, very small plane, but there is an actual plane up in the trees and there's somebody that's up there dangling from it, like from in there and they're like dripping red water on you to where it looks like it's blood and stuff like this. And then you get to another part where there's all these guys with chainsaws and I don't know if they were actually cutting the bus or what the hell they were doing. I wouldn't guess they're cutting the bus or they're going to end up cutting through the damn thing in one night, you know, just doing this over and over. But they get up to the bus, the guys on the outside have the chainsaws and they're going down the side of the bus and there's sparks flying off. And then you've got guys coming up in the bus, running down the aisles, getting right up in your face with the chainsaws. I mean, just awesome, guys. I mean, at this point in the ride, you know, your adrenaline is really going. It's like, wow, you know, this is really awesome. And then you start down this hill and I mean they are flying I mean just hauling ass down this hill I mean you're like bouncing in the seats it's like oh my god I'm gonna die for real in this haunted house I mean it was just the most trippiest thing like I couldn't believe how fast we were flying down this hill and through these woods it just seemed so dangerous and it just added to the whole thing and then you come up to this clearing and all of a sudden there's cars everywhere. It's like you're in the middle of a demolition derby. I mean, there's cars over here, over here, and there's a guy on a dirt bike that comes flying through there, darting in all the cars. It's like, how in the hell are they doing this? I mean, this is like some seriously amazing choreographed stuff. I mean, unlike anything I've ever experienced or ever heard of, you know? And the cars are coming up and, and like the bus, they had a part of the bus like cut out like this underneath like a notch or the bus as the cars come up and slide and it would look like they would hit right into the bus but they would slide down into that notch then they would back up 
just amazing. I mean, it was seriously like being right in the middle of a demolition derby. It, it, you know, you're just, oh my God, oh my God. And you know, everybody is so into it and having so much fun. Everybody's cheering. I mean, it's like you're at a fucking rock concert, you know, but you're at a haunted house. I mean, this part was just the fun part, you know what I mean? And then after that, I think you go through a few more little things and then you come up to this clearing, another clearing, and but this is like by a huge cornfield. And it's real quiet, um, you know, nothing going on at all, no strobe lights, no monsters jumping out, none of that type of stuff. And you come up, and then the bus, you go right on, on the bus, and, and all you can see is this long clearing, but right back, like if you look back, there's like trees, and you can see a semi sitting there, no trailer hook to it, but just a semi sitting there. So you're thinking, oh shit, what's going on now? So you're starting off down this path, well, you get probably, I would say, I want to say probably 30 to 50 yards down away from where the semi is. And all of a sudden, the lights come on. And I mean, they're on bright, so I mean, you automatically get your attention. The lights come on, the truck fires up, and this thing takes off hauling ass up behind you with flames shooting out of the top of the pipes. I swear to God, this is just the craziest shit I've ever experienced and this thing's flying down, coming up behind you, and then all of a sudden it starts tapping on the back of the bus and pushing it. I mean, literally pushing it. You're like, bam, bam, it's jerking you. It's like, how in the hell is this safe? And, and I'll get to that too, because it was not safe. And it's just pushing you, pushing you, and then finally you turn another corner, the semi goes off the other way, and then you're back to the beginning, and that's the end of the Haunted Hollow. Guys, this thing was so amazing that despite waiting two and a half hours in a line, you know, our, our moods are starting to get sour. We're thinking, man, there's no way it's going to be worth this because I've never waited in, long, in line that long, nearly that long for any haunted house before or since. But it was so worth it once we went through it that we immediately went and got back in line again. Now, granted, it was really late at night at this point. And when we got back in line, we only had to wait about a half hour because it was getting close to the closing time. And, I mean, we went through it immediately again. It was just so amazing. And, you know, the whole thing with, like, that, that um, the part with the cars, that's where I really understood how choreographed this was. Because this time we sat in the very back seat, so we were right there, you know. And, and I really, I watched the cars, and the cars basically went through the same motions they did before. Like, the car would dart down, here would come the guy on a dirt bike, this car comes, slides up underneath. I mean, it was just amazingly choreographed how they did this. I mean, these guys were like, fucking, seem like stunt drivers or something, man. It was just amazing. Um, but the thing is, too, what I, what I mentioned the back seat is, we sat in the very back, and then when the semi started hitting the bus this time, I look, you could look back, you know, of course, over the side, and I mean, there was a thick-ass bumper attached to both the bus and the semi, like just, I mean, geez, man, the thing had to have been at least this thick on both vehicles, so that's how they were able to hit and then push the bus, you know, it would come up and, and, and kind of tap it, but then bam, slam into it, and it would be jerking you, so just amazing, but guys, you know, unfortunately, the year after this, somebody did get injured, and I heard that they actually quit hitting the bus. Um, and it's no surprise at all. I mean, it, it was very dangerous. Like, I don't know how they got away with what they got away with, but I'm so glad they did because it is a haunted house experience unlike anything, you know, I've ever even heard anybody else being able to attend. Um, but it was just so amazing. I'll never forget it. You know, if I'm fortunate enough to live to be 80 years old, which I probably won't be, um, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be telling that while I'm shitting my, uh, diapers, you know, my depends or whatever. It's just, oh guys, I, I just wish everybody could experience something like that for themselves one time. Um, so yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. That is the Haunted Hollow. It's in Wilmington, Ohio. I think I think it's still going on, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I, it, it's nothing like it used to be. I, hopefully, they still do the buses, you know, and they just don't hit because it would still be awesome regardless. But that just really added to it, you know. 
Um, so what's some of your haunted house experiences? That's what I want to hear about. Because um, there's a lot of haunted houses all over this country and um, here in the United States. Um, I've heard the UK isn't quite as, you know, flipping out for Halloween or a lot of other countries aren't, unfortunately. But if you've had some good haunted house experiences, tell me about them. Because I'm really interested to hear. Maybe maybe could get some even some video responses on this. Because, you know, Halloween, a big part of it, at least, like I said, here is the haunted houses. They're a lot of fun. And uh, I'd really like to hear what you guys have experienced and how, you know, some of the awesome experiences you've had have been. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying the Halloween season. Have a good one, guys. Take care.